With that being said, we turn the rest of the survey over to the general overseer. We're going to continue from here. Put your hands together for Pastor Sonny Moses. Ready? The father of the big house. Amen. Amen. You are clapping, but you're not clapping for Jesus. Get Jesus a man. Hand up. Pray. Hey. Hallelujah! Rise up. We, we are here for business. Hallelujah. We want to go to the point. Amen? I don't, I don't let to waste time. I don't let to waste time. Amen? We are here for business because we want for God to move. We want for things to happen. Amen? Hallelujah. Things to happen right now. I want for you to wave your hand. Just wave your hand because the Holy Ghost, the wind is about to blow in this place. Hallelujah. I said the wind is about to blow in this place. If you believe it, that you know that the wind is about to blow, then I want for you to send me hallelujah. Send me hallelujah. Send me hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord is good and all the time. Amen. This is your thing. Can you please come? Yeah. I, 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 I don't want to break protocol. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Can you bring the, the prophet in? Pray. I don't know about you. How many people was blessed last night? Hallelujah. 
have any testimonies before our prophet come? Just one quick testimony. Yeah. Come, sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Miracle, miracle, miracles, miracles, miracles. Praise the Lord. You know, life in itself is a precious gift, and living it daily is a um, as I've said, life in itself is a precious gift, and I just want to be grateful to God for. for his continuous protection over my life. And that's all. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Hallelujah. At this time, I'd like to present, hallelujah, an honorable prophet, Gershom Salika. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. You can take your seat and... Uh, you know, when I saw that sister come back again the first time I saw you there was so much confusion on her and I begin to weep for her say so Lord have mercy set her free and the devil left her she's free Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad I came here and to witness. Life is so precious. You may not understand the nightmare she was in, the pain. No more. Even a better no more in Christ Jesus. <laughs> precious God save my life so precious that's the power of God how many saw her when she came here now but the second day and the second day Jesus set her free. Pastor uh, and Bishop, if the whole entire conference were just to set one person free, it's worth it. Because it's priceless. When you value your lives, God will entrust you with greater in the power of God's anointing is to love people. The more you love people,
pray for love. Will you love the city? Will you love the people? And if I can feel that love, that compassion, miracles will begin to do. Until that love, I love them. They've been here faithful every day. I've been observing. You you and God's notice. Precious. And God will do something in each one of you. But before that, while I'm ministering, so I want to minister a little bit, then I'll, there will be a lot of releasing today. There will be a lot of physical healings and like you have never seen before. Um, We started in the morning on the new dimension of glory. And uh, I'll combine it. If you haven't bought this book, it's a must. Every believer. Who she is, but she's one of my best, best, best friends. She lot the forward on this book. And uh, and your children to love Jesus, let them read this book. If you have somebody that has a system that they doubt your faith, when they read this book, they'll come to the place of that understanding the mind of God and they'll get excited on getting deeper with God. They think when they go deeper, they'll go poor or they'll go confused. That's what the devil plans. But it's different. You get better, you get richer and wealthier. I can promise you that. Jesus said, the poor, you can't feed if you don't have the supply. You can't look after the orphans if you don't have the supply. But you have to make a decision. Would you be the one to be fed or you'll be the one to feed? If you don't want to feed anybody, somebody will feed you. Maybe I'll feed you. Maybe the pastor will feed you, but we'll keep getting the blessings. But each one of you. Once you make that decision, you will see that you will always have resources and you always have abundance. Because God can trust you to help others. Release true resources. True wealth is wealth that is generational from you to your family to your children, children. And mostly in the African setup, most of the people are the starters of, they start from ground zero. In the world, I don't like using white and black, but in, in the, just in the uh, Caucasian community, Caucasian, at least she has a grandfather who has some inheritance somewhere. Some of them along the way, they messed it up. And 95% of our church is Caucasians 
and Hispanic. So I understand uh, that culture better. You are the only blade winner in your family. And you're the one taking care of the family, both here and there, the pressure. And there's no room to save. There's no room for in. Why is it like that? And it's not just African or black and white. Monstry, my friend, Pat Francis says this. This is how I connected myself to her, and we became very good friends. One of these days, I need to invite her to come and minister to you. Uh, Dr. Pat Francis, she, she's, she says something. Africans know how to cast out demons. They know how to bind and roost. They know how to destroy witchcraft and all this. But most of them, their churches are in schools, lending buildings, and they're being moved out and moved in. Very few have grounded. Catholic don't cast out devils and all that, but they have buildings. Methodists, they have buildings. They don't, I'm not judging their doctrine, but they, there is something there. They, they know how to give and they know how to preserve the future. But now I'm not just talking about physical wealth. In this book, I talk about how you can have wealth and still be anointed and cast out devils. Because you can have money and still be bound. And you can be poor and still be bound. So demons are not respecter of the rich or the poor. I've casted out demons from the multimillionaires. I've casted out demons from... I need to be careful with this one from popular people. But I've also casted out demons from the poorest people. Demons are not respectful of who you are. But there's something there are other people even if they have demon curses but they have broken wealth generational curses, they still have finances coming in. Here you find that poverty, so you know, witchcraft stops the wealth to flow. Witchcraft affects generation. Anyone in your family who has practiced witchcraft is not it's not a simple thing. They make covenants for that to be passed on. It's different from just getting a mere demon or a drug addict demon which deals with just, but it goes roots. And that's why Africa is in pain. And the Hispanic community also is in pain. One thing is that they like going You find an atheist who does not even consult spirits on anything, like John McAfee. He dis internet. is an atheist just by using the mind. There is what you call AI now, with artificial intelligence. That everything is called artificial intelligence. Um, for the social media. It was invented by and I asked the Lord, I said, why are the atheists inventing things? What's wrong with believers? Because believers, they lack management. When you pray in tongues, you release ideas. You release inventions.
Disney was this started by Mr. Disney, who was an elder in the church. Read the history. Thick book about him. He was baptized. He was if God fearing. Along the way he lacked money. Then ABC and the bank and changed. They took over his inheritance. Even today, Mr. Disney does not own Disney. But yet they use his name. He couldn't pay the date and they repossessed it. Do you know that Disney is not owned by Mr. Disney? But there is family owned Disney in San Francisco. When you're in San Francisco, California, you can go there. You will see the real Mr. Disney. They put a certificate of baptism and there's a Bible there that he loved. And I said, oh my God, this Disney that makes trillions of dollars over the years, it was invented by a believer, but now believers, they don't have power over it. There's so many things that have been stolen, but God is telling me today, it's time to possess what has been stolen. It's time to take charge rather than the demons to take charge. Because the in charge is in charge. God of the host is with you. Now, you must understand the spiritual warfare that is there. Spiritual warfare is not a problem. You understand? Spiritual warfare is not a problem. The problem is our relationship with God. Why is it not a problem? One time, I led a witch to the Lord many years ago. And the witch came to attack me in the night. Through her spirit. It was thick and it was bad. If you know demons are bad. Fear and all that. I wanted to squeeze my neck. An angel appeared before me. And the demon was trying to squeeze me while an angel is watching. I was confused. I said, what? Why is not an angel helping me? Then I heard the same angel says, command it to go to the mountain. Then an angel spoke to me, commanded to go to the mountain. When I said, I command you to go to the mountain, the same angel picks up the demon and throws it out. And I said, God, what are you teaching me? He says, you are in charge. Many things that happen in our lives, it's because we don't take charge what is already ours. God taught me that and changed everything. He changed the way I talk. He changed the way I pray. I respect my prayer because they are happening. I respect what I'm saying because it happens. We were praying. I wrote a book called Speak to the Wind. I did not come with it. But we were in the office. We spoke to the wind and the wind changed. We started feeling. Even now, the, the wind shall change when I'm speaking. We're going to feel the blowing of the wind from heaven. Because we are not natural people. We are spiritual people practicing our spiritual power in the natural. The immaterial becomes materialized. You must understand God respects you. God respects you more than you respect yourself. I was in Mozambique speaking to 8,000 people. And it started to rain. Most of you are from Africa. There was no roof like this. There was a thatched roof made of glass. 
they did that. They spent, I don't know how many weeks to build that, that massive thing. It was, the roof was just there to protect you from the heat, not from the rain. And the second day I was having a miracle meeting. The rain. Over 8,000 people. You know how many people are that? It's so many. The pastor said, we need to cancel the meeting. We need floods in Mozambique, Maputo. It's and I said, oh, it's up to me? He said, yeah, it's not to me. It's up to you. You know, when God is talking to you, a lot of things change. And I said, it's up to me to make a decision. It's leaving me to make a decision. Then the word. To the nimbus you hold the land hold the rain you will not pour on the people here next neighbor it was pulling and the other neighbor it was pulling but where we were we only smelled the rain how did i know that when I was being picked up in my 4x4 four four to go to my hotel, the car it was almost, the, wind, the, the wheels of the car was all swallowed up by the water. We were driving like that. But where we were, it was dry. I said, wow, how great thou art. My God. We don't know God. That's why we're in trouble. We associate ourselves with religious people. You are none of that. You are a child of God. You are the child of God. When God did that miracle, it changed my life. It changed my life. This is the reality of the power of God. I was in California. Near Santa Maria. Speaking. And praying. The presence of God. Covered the place where we were. People were driving, they could feel the presence of God. People were just driving and they would say, oh my God, something is going on there. I feel something. They would stop the car and coming in. Stop the car. Then we started talking to people who were getting healed. He said, how did you come here? He says, I felt the presence of God miles away and I drove here. I'm talking about... California, in America, I'm not talking about, I told you about African story, but I'm telling you about the reality of the stories here in the United States. As a matter of fact, people consider California as wicked, <laughs> but right there where you think it's wicked, God was doing miracles. Can you imagine? What I'm saying is, start knowing your God. Being spiritual does not mean you're anointed. But knowing who you are in Christ Jesus, it's what brings the anointing. And the work of the anointing is to destroy the yoke and remove the burden. You are not to be yoked. You are not to be burdensome. You are to be yoke free and burdensome free. You are a yoke breaker, burden remover. Because you are the anointing of the anointed one. God will not change the city until you decide. God 
will not move not until you decide for God to move. God gave me a revelation like, why other churches have miracles? It says because the pastor this does not believe in miracles and God will not impose himself to perform a miracle. The day the pastor gets a revelation, I believe in miracles, miracles to flow. There's some pastors who just believe in salvation. Guess what? They're getting thousands and thousands saved. That's where their faith is. They're getting thousands and thousands baptized. But people are sick. They're not getting healed. I made a decision that I'll see souls saved and bodies healed and mind restored and wealth releaser. I'm a wealth releaser. I will not just be spiritual. I will not just be of a salvation. I will have everything that God has for me. You will minister salvation, but you will also heal the body. You will also heal the body, but you will also release wealth. There is nothing wrong with money. What is wrong with money is your mind. If you can have a proper understanding that money is your servant and is a tool, you will praise the Lord. God says to Moses, let my people go. Then Pharaoh says, yes, I'll let them go, but I'll owe the gold and the silver. God says, no, it's not enough. Guess what? The fellow spirit is still alive in the church today that is saying it's okay to be poor it's okay to be broke but it's okay you will go to heaven someday just focus on that it's time to say no fellow spirit out i'll be free i will get my gold and silver so i can praise the lord When God was saying, let my people go, he wasn't just saying, be free spiritually. He was also saying, I need gold and silver. Read the Exodus. Read the word. Today, when you go to certain churches, they blame people that have wealth and riches. They begin to talk against them. What you speak against, you cannot have it. Coming. Not, oh, why is he wealthy showing up? No, just say, I'm coming. I believe in possessing, I believe that powers and principalities. They have taken a break because they can no power versus power can exist. When power meets power, other power must lower. I carry the power of the most powerful God. I cannot compete with devils, I cannot compete with demons. they must bow because you are the power of God on earth you are the power of God on earth on earth you are the anointing of God on earth Jesus left he says I give you authority I saw it written somewhere here you had it as your theme some time back. That word is a reality. Yes. Yeah. It says, behold, I give you authority to tramp on serpent. The power of the enemy. Over all. Do you understand? Oh, over all. 
You spend too much time by using. They're already freed. It's time to release wealth and set free the orphans and feed the widows and heal the sick and raise the dead and get some brothers helped. There is time for that. But you must grow in the authority of God. You must, the growth comes with understanding. I have authority and I'm walking in his power. The purpose of the Holy Spirit is to empower you. It's not common power. It's dunamis power. Explosive power. You are so dangerous because you're not just calling power. You are calling explosive weapon of power of heaven. Weapons of power of heaven is explosive. You can shut down the city and open down the city. This is a type of power I'm talking. You can fire and hire. This is a type of power I'm talking. And I hear the Holy Ghost says, I am giving my church my authority back. I'm giving my church my power back. No more will they be enslaved. No more will they be belittled. It's going to come to pass. When the world is looking for answers, they'll come and look for you. When the world is confused, they don't know what to do, they'll look for a believer, for the child of God. They'll find you. God told me he's going to visit this ministry and visit your life. And he's going to inhabit you. When you understand who you are, things will begin to listen. Your body will listen. You speak to the body, you listen. One of the ways to heal people that have pain, speak to the pain. To the pain. Speak to the sickness. Speak to that problem. Speak it and it will obey. You must understand that you are not a common person. With his power and I want you to walk in his power money will come to you don't worry about that wealth will come to you don't worry about it why do you worry when you know have power you must believe that what you see in your empty bank account is temporal. It's time to start seeing the full bank account. When you change what you see, you change the result. Did you see what I mean? Jesus said, what do you see? I see people like trees. Why do you see? I see people like trees. He asked them, said, how do you see? Yes. Until he changed the statement. He says, now I can see. Elijah said, go outside. It has not been raining for three years and a half. It has been dry and drought. He sends his servant. He said, go outside. What do you see? I don't see anything. He says, go and see again. Oh, I see a crowd like a hand of man. 
Then he said, now you have seen it. Go and prepare. For I hear the sound of the abundance of the rain. It does not look like it's going to rain. But Elijah was able to see it's about to rain. There is a sign God sent me here. That's like a crowd of a hand for God to allow me to be here. So begin to prepare. It's about to rain in your bank account. It's about to rain in this area. All you need is a sign. When you change what you see, you change the results. Begin to see you healed. Begin to see you walking. Begin to see you healthy. Begin to see yourself as God sees you. It changes the results. God says, make a decision, Joshua. Joshua, make a decision. Then Joshua said, as for me and my family, we shall save the Lord. What does it really mean to save God? You'll be poverty free, sickness free, death free. You are in contact of life. You are the life carrier. You are the power of God on earth. You are the disciple and the servant of the living God. As Jesus is, so you are on earth. People have not seen Jesus, but when they see you, they come in contact with Jesus. They come in contact with the Holy Ghost. They are looking for revival, but when you show up, there is revival. You are the revival carrier. Don't look for presence for revival. Revival is you. Revival is you because the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is in you. Stand behind her. Revival. Ah, pastor, take the city, take the city, take the city, take the city. Ah, ah, take the governments, take the governments, take it. Woo! You can go and sit down. I'm telling you. Listen to me, man of God. I see white people. I see Indians. I see all colors. And the Lord says, open your mind to them. For you shall be a father over them. Take that anointing. You too, come. God is healing you from the child abuse that you have gone through in your life. You are coming out of that abuse. Of that as you have been abused. But God says you are free to save other people. Free now. Now. It's time. To come out of the jail of the mind. It's time to come out of that. You have been persecuted by demons. You have been destroyed by the powers of darkness. But it says you are the light. You are the light. God is raising you up as a light. To bring the fire of God 
in your community. Fire, 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 or the Holy Ghost. It's fine. It's fine. They just want to keep it like, like that. Just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Now you can just leave it. Yeah. Thank you, Father. The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of his power. You are no longer ordinary women or men. No longer be judged. You shall be respected. Because glory has come to you. Glory is the beauty of God. Glory has come to you. This is a evening of elevation. God is elevating you. God is elevating you. I see you being honored. I see you being elevated. Oh, woman of God, come. God is crowning you. What you wore today is prophetic. You shall walk as a queen. In the realm of the spirit. And in the natural. Take that queenship power. Oh! Take it in the name of Jesus. He's crowning you right now. The gospel is not dead. The gospel is alive. Jesus is alive and is raising you up to conquer the world because you are more than a conqueror in the name of Jesus. You will heal the sick. You will raise the dead. You are a wealth managers of the earth. You are the wealth managers of the resources of the world. Gold and silver and oil shall come to you. Says the Lord. Say, I am a wealth manager. I will manage my earth. Thank you, Father. That I'm wealthy. I'm anointed. I cast out demons. I raise the dead. I feed the poor. And I feed the widows. Thank you, Father. I'll end poverty in my family. And the generation to come. We shall have wealth generation to generation. Jesus from one generation to another generation. Glory and power. Wealth. Wealth anointing. People, the reality of the power of God is a reality that brings the finances. Is a re reality. If it's spiritually real, it's physically real. You didn't come. Some of you thought you came from a normal traditional. No, 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 no. Jesus is here. Actually, Jesus is walking right here. And I pray that God open the eyes of some people to see Jesus here. Open the eyes of people to see Jesus here. Some of you are going to see Jesus. You're going to have a vision of Jesus right now. Capture some of your people into heaven and back. Capture your people. Let them see the glory of God right now. Right now. Right now. Yes. 
some of you are saying Jesus right now. This is the realm of God. There is no limitation in the glory realm. There is no limitation in the glory. There is no limitation. There are riches of supplies in the glory realm. There is no, no. You know the scripture says, give sparingly or abundantly. Do not give sparingly. Give abundantly. That's how you connect the two types of people. The people who give sparingly and the people who give abundantly. I want you to come out of sparingly to abundance because you are connecting yourself to the spirit of abundance, not just a spirit of sparingly. And then the scripture says, "Give as you purpose in your heart." Do you want to be sparingly or abundantly? I choose abundance. I choose abundance. Say abundance. 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 You have announced yourself to angels and demons. They know who you are. That you're not an average man or an average woman. You have announced yourself to the spiritual world. They know who you are. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it. Who has a vision of an angel or Jesus here? Since I asked God to open the realms of the spirit. I want that person to come and tell me. Come in the front. Come and tell us. Let's see. Anybody who saw the open vision? I want the person to walk. Say, yeah, I saw something. Please, if you didn't see something, it's okay. Because I want people to know that Jesus is Lord. I'm not just making noise here. There's so many things I would do, I would done. I'm very good with business and I'm good with other things. I'm not, I don't need to preach. I don't need to preach. But the reason why I preach, because wealth is nothing without Jesus. Money is nothing without Jesus. None of these things of the world are nothing. What can profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? My soul is more important than everything. Everything just help and support me to take the gospel to the world, to the dying world. It's beautiful people and I want you to put it on a camera. Because we will announce it to the world. Jesus is not dead. He's alive. He's not a myth. He's not just an imagination. He's a living God. He is alive. Jesus is Lord. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. I see angels rejoicing. I see saints of the heavens rejoicing. All the Catherine Cummins are rejoicing. All the Pauls and the Peter are rejoicing. Moses is rejoicing. Elijah is rejoicing. Enoch is here. He is rejoicing. You may not know what I'm talking about. You don't have to. Enoch is here. Moses is here. Elijah is here. They are happy. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we honor you. We honor you. We worship you. Jesus. I don't know about you. I was 10 years old. Jesus visited me. He appeared to me from there and made a decision as a kid that if you love me this much, I did not invite you or know you, but you showed yourself to me as a little child. I will save you for the rest of my life. 
I made a commitment on that age. Then he visited me at the age of 14. I said, are you willing to reveal my presence to the dying world? Are you willing to take my miraculous power to the world so they can know that the gospel is a gospel power? It's not just in words. People, I'm commissioned by heaven. I'm not man sent. I'm God sent. You're going to walk in the realms you have never walked. The brokenness of your heart is being restored to restore many. No more will you struggle to tap in the glory because you shall glory calling today. Don't leave. We still need to announce. We want to see what you saw. I want this on camera. It's important for me. While I was about 10 years old, and I had a vision in my bedroom of an angel with big, massive wings, beautiful, and just the brightest light that I, could, I couldn't even look upon it because the light was so bright, and he was just so beautiful. And I was 10 years old, and it scared me. So I ran. I ran far. But I know that he was with me every step of the way, protecting what, what me. What experience today? I seen the same angel today. How I seen the same angel today. You mean in the service right now? In the service right now, I seen him today. God reminded me of what I seen then, and he showed me it again today. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That ram is open. Ah, my sister, God will use you for signs and wonders. There is healing in your hands. There is healing in your hands. The Lord says he has raised you up for such a time as this. From this day forth, look at me, my sister. You will never live the life the same. You're going to experience the glorious power of God. Breath of life, reviver. People, I've never met her. It's my first time. You can take a seat. I want you to know that that ram is real. Because some of you, I wanted to you to understand what who we are. Once you understand, things will change in your life. Finances will come, wealth will come, but there is personal re responsibility. Will you love God with the substance? Will you love God with the material things? Will you love God with the substance? That's always the challenge, even for me and for everyone else. But I made a decision I worship you with everything I have. Once you do that, you destroy Satan and you open the wealth flow and it's just going to flow and flow over your life. People, the church in America can only become alive through you here. And you need to make a decision today. Will you go and raise the dead from the dead church? It's not just physical raising, but spiritual raising the dead church. And God wants you to resurrect his body. He loves his church so much, but his church has been in pain because not many have experienced Jesus. Just stand to your feet for a second. There will be such a presence to experience him. Dear Jesus, I thank you. You called me to bring the reality of your person, of the Holy Spirit, the, re the reality 
of the Holy Spirit, the reality of your power. Lord, I pray, let this night be a beginning of revival in this church and the churches represented here. Let them know they're not just ordinary preachers. They are sent from God. Sent from God. I release that fire upon every soul. I release every fire upon every soul that your heart will begin to burn for the Lord. You will experience his mighty power like never before. You will walk and possess the lands and possess things that you could not possess in the name of Jesus. I speak life on these dear ones on the wheelchair. I speak life and creative miracle right now to begin to take place in your body. Begin to check yourself slowly by slowly. The miracle is taking place. We thank you, Father, for the creative power of God. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. I believe in the supernatural healing power of God. Thank you, Father. He's eating your body right now. He's eating your physical body in the name of Jesus. Pain is leaving your body. Mind that has been crowded by wrong thoughts. Your mind is being free. There is freedom taking place right now. He's healing you from every disease and sickness. You are being free. You are being healed. The healing power is healing you right now. Receive healing into your body. Receive healing into your body receive healing into your body right now right now in the name of Jesus the healing power the healing presence it's fine I want ministers again to be here, you know, because you lead others. God knows how you struggle. God knows your pain, your hard working. But revival, whatever you go and preach, there will be revival. There will be revival. There will be glory. There will be fire. The Lord Jesus Christ is releasing fire and glory. Fire and glory. He makes his ministers as ministers of fire. You shall become the minister of fire. The world will come seeing you burning and they'll come to hear you. There is a special grace for the spirit of revive to revive the dead church, dead believers. Wherever you are, you shall raise them up. You shall revive them. The glory of his power. I hear the Holy Ghost say that. Son, I'm here and I'm anointing them. As you lay my hand, as you lay your hands on them, it will be me laying my hands on you. You can see my hand, but it's the hand of Jesus. God is turning my hand into his hand. The hand of God is coming upon you. The hand of God. Oh. Just a minute. That's I really sense angels of revival that were around these men and women that turned the cities upside down. The same angels. They're being released 
here. God, by his own sovereign sovereignty, he has decided to send angels that were around women like Catherine Kuhlman, that were around men like Charles Finney, Smith Ugosworth. Their angels are still alive. Those are angels that are coming on you and you'll be going home with them. I saw them. I saw them. I saw them. Your ministry no longer be the same. The same you read about these men of God, they'll read about you. Ah. The hand of God. The hand of God. Jesus. The hand of God. 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 The hand of God, Bishop, is on you. I see signs and wonders. You're coming into kingship glory. The hand of God. Oh, this is enough. The hand of God. You don't have to fall down. This is enough. The hand of God. Oh, the hand of God. People, his hand is on you. His hand is on you. It's not the falling, it's what is going to take place. The hand of God. The hand of God. The hand of God. The hand of God. Wow. The hand of God. The hand of God. Jesus. Yeah, you can go and sit down, those who can. Hallelujah. The Lord told me that my hand is his hand, so I need just to put my hand on you. The hand of God. glory. There goes the glory. There goes the glory. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I need to obey is to put his hand on you. Because the Lord told me, as I put my hand on you, he's the one putting his hand on you. You are carrier of the miraculous. Miraculous carrier. You see it. I just want to say something in you know, because on the ninth, I just want to proclaim something over this ministry. And uh, you know, the number nine, a woman is carried for nine months. This church is giving birth for the new move of God. Hey! You have been calling a baby for nine months. And there's a lot of that happens when a woman is pregnant for nine months. There's a lot of pain. A lot of different things goes, takes place. You have gone through that. But I'm here to prophesy. That that which you have been desiring as a ministry. You have given birth today. 
things that could not work, they will begin to work. Amen. Not only will you acquire this building, but you acquire many buildings. Amen. The birthing of signs and wonders, this place shall be called a home of, for signs and wonders and miracles. Amen. When people are looking for a wonder, they know where to go to. When the people are looking for signs, they know where to go. I see angels of signs and wonders being in this place. They will just step on this property and they will experience miracles. Because it's an open heaven. It's an open heaven. As you enter into this tenth year, it's a ma, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a year of an open heaven, Amen. visited by heaven. When Jesus broke bread and gave thanks, the Bible says the heavens were open. The heavens are open over this ministry. Even people who did not like you, they will begin to like you. Amen. Even people who did not give you funding, they have released funding. Amen. Some of you have been waiting. The waiting is over. Amen. Is having it now. This is a time for progress. Amen. The spirit of moving forward has come upon you. Amen. You shall move forward. Amen. You're going glory to glory. Amen. You're coming into the glorious time. Amen. You will not beg people to come to attend church. People will come in numbers. That's not a problem. At a place of an open heaven, they will come and look for you. Pastor, angels have been commissioned to give people dreams and awaken them. And there are many people are looking for this place. You will send me a report. In months to come, it says many have joined just because they have been looking for a place like this. Amen. Because the enemy blinded this place. Amen. God has opened up this place. Amen. They didn't know you exist, but now they know you dominate. The spirit of dominion is upon this ministry. You are like a, a, a light at a hill. You cannot be eaten anymore. Many shall come for your light. Many shall come for your light. The spirit of dominion, the spirit of dominion is coming upon this ministry. Shout dominion. Shout dominion! 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 Shout dominion! You have crossed the line. You are possessing. It doesn't even matter to give the flyers to people. They will look for you. 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 Dominion and power. Dominion and power. The dominion and power. The spirits that have been blinding this place have been removed. 
they have been removed some people came in this place they were assigned to enter this ministry I came as God's general to dismantle their assignment of the enemy Dominion, power, dominion, power, dominion, power. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. Give me some praise. Give me some praise. Let's praise the Lord. Give me some praise. Give us some praise. Give me some. Before that. Power, 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 glory, power. Now go and give us some praise. Give me some praise. Every instrument lifted up. Every voice, give me some praise. I feel like dancing for you. Because I see the future of this church. The church has been delivered. The church is moving forward. I feel like dancing. I feel like dancing. Yeah. the joy of the Lord. Say yes Lord, yes, 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 yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord. Amen. Yes Lord, yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord.
What a, what a night. What a night. You don't know I am dancing, Koza. I rejoice and I celebrate your victory. You've carried a baby for nine years, but you just given birth for the new move of God. Hallelujah. I see your victory. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you are assigned to die, but you're not going to die. You're going to live. Some of you are assigned to be evicted from your home. No, no devil. You're not being evicted. Victory is yours. Court cases are cancelled. Plans of the enemy are cancelled. The demons dates have been expired. It's time for King Jesus to have dominion. 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 And power. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the King of Kings. And to the Lord of Lords. To him who is worthy to be worshipped. You are worth it all God. You are worth it all. You are worthy. You are holy. You are holy. You are so good. You are so good. You are the king of my heart. You are the king of my life. You are the abundance of my life. You are the favor of my life. You are the healer of my life. You are the protector of my life. You are my favor. The own of my salvation. You are my exhortation. I rejoice in the king of kings. And the lord of lords. In Jesus name. Wow. Wow. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Dance. Give Jesus some dance. Yes. Yes. Give Jesus some dance. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Father. Thank you. 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 Holy Ghost. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Father. Thank you. 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 A million thanks. A million thanks. A billion thanks. A trillion thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your spirit, for your power, for opening the heavens, for healing my body, for blessing me. Thank you for visiting us, for protecting us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With everything in me. Thank you. 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 He that has begun a good work in you, he will protect this power, he will protect this anointing, he will protect this grace, who will protect and carry you on. Oh, he is faithful. His name is Jesus, the faithful one. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for miracles, for healings, for provisions, for protection. Thank you. Thank you. It's not by power nor by might. It is by the Holy Ghost. And I say thank you. 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 delivering your people. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you for inhabiting us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The crowd of glory is in this place. The crowd of glory the holy spirit is taking dominion is taking the atmosphere this place shall be called the place for the holy ghost demon free sickness freeze on hallelujah case freeze on no flies on for witchers this is a place for the holy ghost Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. This is a place for Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Fire, Holy Ghost, 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 fire, and open heaven, a 
and hope in heaven. 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 Open. 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 Fire. Open. Fire. Tell us what the Lord has done for you. Praise, we are a place of an open heaven. We are being visited by heaven. Yes. What was spoken by Joel, that the spirit of God will come upon our flesh. And people shall see visions. Some of you when you go to sleep, you're going to see dreams. And you shall prophesy. 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 Open heaven. Many of you, your eyes of the spirit are open to see what you could not see. To encounter the heavenly glory of Jesus. To him be the glory. This morning, sin is being invaded, invaded by heaven. The entire city, the government of heaven is here. The government of heaven is here encountering Iowa. Iowa will never be the same. I prophesy over this land, revival fire. Revival fire. What did the Lord do for you? What did you see? I know there are many of you have seen visions. When I was when I was jumping, when I was jumping and I was jumping and I was jumping, I saw the cloud. It was mixed blue, gray, and white, but it was so thick and heavy. I saw the move from the back of that wall. And the people from back there, I couldn't see them. And I saw him moving. I saw him moving. And he said, this is my presence. And it was going and it passed to the drummer and it went this way. It was thick and it was moving and it was moving and it was moving. And again, when I sat down here, as the people were celebrating and I was looking at her dancing, he said, tell the people, even if you don't touch them, if you didn't call their name, if you didn't speak directly, let somebody know as they are living, my grace alone is sufficient. If somebody can go with that belief, something is going to happen for them. My grace is sufficient. My grace, just the grace alone is sufficient for somebody. And that's what God was speaking. My grace, my grace is sufficient. So I just want somebody to go believing that the grace of God is sufficient for you. God, that's what God said. You know, before that I saw thick darkness leave you. And then the glory came to you. You're going to be seeing so much in the glory. So much, shall you see. Somebody else who had a vision. Anyone else who has the, the vision? But thank you for being obedient to that. I'm telling you, this ministry will never be the same. What you saw is a new baby of this church. That's what we were dancing for. You had church. You're going to have another church. Within the church. The church of not beggars. But the church of kings. And priests. The church of dominators. And dominion. 
they shall shine with the love of God. Hallelujah. The thick darkness that was blinding this church left. And then God opened our eyes to see what the future. It's okay. Sometimes it's difficult how you see it. I just saw the dove and Jesus in my mind's eye. Yeah, because it's his mind. But the power of God is coming upon you right now. Because the Lord says, open vision. You're going to see Jesus clear, 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 clear level. People, the presence of God. This is a house of God's presence. This is a house of signs and wonders and miracles. What? Thank you. Um, I will do one more assignment. We have experienced a lot. First, I'm just going to lay hands on them. I'm just going to lay my hands on you. I bless you. I command your body to receive strength. Your bones to be recreated. Strength into this body. I command your body to receive strength. And to recreate where the bones have become, ligaments become weak. Strength. From the broken bones. Strength. Strength. I've just put the glory in motion. When you lay hands, you release life. So what I released in them? Life. When Jesus said, you shall lay hands and they shall recover. You shall release life and death shall go away. Sickness shall go away. You shall release life. Say life. life. That's what happens when you lay hands on the person you are releasing. Life. life. What did I do? I released life in every dead thing in your body. is coming alive. Yeah. Now, I want people that are in business to give some sacrificial offering. And I want to anoint those ones because... Business people are the key and the backbone because you are producing something. You are doing something. You see, sometimes we anoint people who are doing nothing. I like anointing people who are going to do something so that an anointing can work. I've prayed for the nothing business people. Now they are multimillionaires because they're doing something. If you're a business person, I want you to come and give a prophetic gift. And I want to pray. Release a blessing for what you do to grow. Doesn't matter how stuck it has been. It shall grow and dominate. And pastor, make sure you keep me in touch. Bishop, I want to see how wealthy those men and women they are going to become. The anointing has got a reason. Sometimes we lay hands and anoint on people that do nothing. You have, I want only people that are doing something. They want to do something. I will not waste his precious, glorious power that makes you. A Genesis, you know what is going to happen to you? Genesis chapter 2, verse 28. Somebody's got a Bible to read that. Genesis chapter 2, verse 28. You have a good voice to read for now. Let him read. Genesis chapter 2, verse 28. I heard him read scripture very well. I want you to listen. That's what is going to happen. But again... Genesis chapter 2, verse 28. 
that's it where the genesis Give me a second. Let me use my phone. Let me give you that scripture that is in my spirit. Uh, just wait. I'm going to release this scripture. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. 1, verse 28. Yes. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. And we plantish your heart and subdue it. And have dominion over the faith of the sea. Amen. It says, be fruitful. Just being fruitful is not enough. You have to multiply. Your business must have branches. Then it says, you shall punish. You shall fill the earth. And you shall have what? Dominion. So your business, if you're doing a business, doesn't matter how many people are doing the same business. Yours shall dominate. Yours shall multiply. In the world, it's having chains of businesses. Just like McDonald's, they have multiplied there everywhere. This is what the scripture is saying. It's like McDonald's. That's one shop, like Starbucks. There is one shop, but they are all over the country. What you, when I anoint you today, everything you do is going to multiply. Amen. And you're going to dominate. But you have to give seeds. God responds to seed. God responds. But there is a purpose why you're doing that. One more scripture can I have? Because I need, the Bible is my compass. Just bear with me a second. Genesis, read Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. Have you seen seed time and harvest time we will not see? So, two scriptures Genesis 1, verse 28, and Genesis 8, 22. That's where we are practicing. You're going to multiply doesn't matter what you sell it will sell because they are angels of marketing for you you know company big companies they hire monitors and advertisers 
God has got angels to market you and advertise you. You shall be like a magnet. People will be drawn to your business. Even when they don't want to buy, they will buy. There is one person. I prayed for the person who was in real estate. It was a realtor. He said, I've not sold any house. Then I said to him, give a seed and I will anoint you to become a magnet. Do you know every real estate he puts his hand on, it gets sold. It gets sold. It's, he, now he, he used to work as a real estate agent, but now he owns his own agency because he sells so much, there is no need for him to be working for someone. That does not, in the midst of high competition or market, many agents and realtors, they're trying. But this person, the power of magnetic attraction came upon him that makes him to become fruitful and multiply. Fruitful and multiply. That's what is going to happen. But it doesn't happen without seed. I've read for you scriptures why I'm doing what I'm doing. And there is no word of God that is greater than the prophet of God. God's word is greater than the prophet. God's word is greater than the prophet. The prophet is carried by the word of the Lord. He gives life because of the word of God. And the scripture says, he has exalted his word above his name. Oh, I can say he has exalted his word above his servants. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord shall create business. Shall create life. We've seen many barren women get pregnant. One woman, the womb was removed. I prayed for her. She got pregnant. And the doctor says, but the womb was removed. But she's pregnant. What happened? It, because it is God who says, be fruitful and multiply. She, our womb was removed because she didn't. She was in the world. She did it prematurely. And this poor guy gets married to her. He wants babies and and then she said, I don't have a womb. And, but he loves her and doesn't know what to do. And we pray and prophesy children out of the womb without a womb. And the child, now they have babies. And the doctor says, we don't know how she got pregnant without a womb. But the baby was healthy. And now she, she just pops out babies. Thank God for medical doctors. Thank God for natural laws. But God's word, when it says, you know what I love? It's Psalms 29. Can you someone read Psalms 29 real quick? Listen to that, please. Psalms 29. From 1, it ends up to 10. But I want you to read. Give him a mic. I want you to listen to that. Please listen to Psalms 29. God gives, makes the bear that is not pregnant to give birth when God's word speaks. It's just Psalms 29. Lead the whole chapter. It's just a few chapters. It's up to 10. Get on to the law, all oh ye mighty. Mm. Get on to the law, the law of glory and strength. Get on to the law that glory to you. <laughs> Unto his name. Worship the Lord in the pureness of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. And then keep on. The God of glory tendereth. The Lord is upon many waters. Yes. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is powerful. Keep on saying. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of God is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord break, breaks the cedar, the big tree. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedar of Lebanon. 
the Lord break off the cedar of Lebanon. When you go to Lebanon, there is forest of cedars, the biggest trees you can find in Lebanon, the country of Lebanon, they are cedars. But the voice of God can break it. Then keep on. He made them also to step like a cock. Mm -hmm. Lebanon and Syria. Yes. Like a young honeycomb. Yes. The voice of the Lord divided the frames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness of poverty and lack. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. Kadesh is a country. It's a city. The voice of the Lord makes the, the hint to come. It gives the hint. It's an animal that is not pregnant. But he, the voice of God causes it to be pregnant and give a calf. And discover the forest. And, and he is thankful to what everyone speaks of his glory. Everyone in his temple speaks of what? His glory. Now when the glory comes down, the Lord will sit at your flood and God will be enthroned as king. Read it. With peace. Shalom. Listen. If you cannot give birth, you will give birth. If you cannot succeed, you will succeed. It makes a wilderness into a forest. The voice of the Lord is speaking to you today. God will sit at your flood. That flood is a problem. He's sitting at your problem of your business that flood and when God sits at your flood who will be flown as Lord as King and everyone in the temple shall say glory, glory goodness is the glory of God now raise up your hands now you have understanding of what I'm going to do can I have the oil I want to anoint you but remember to give the seed otherwise we are just playing games. And I fear the Lord. I don't want to. I don't want to just lay, lay hands on you. Because it sounds funny. I've been laying hands on people since I was 14. So it's no longer exciting. I only lay hands on people. On my assignment. Doing the assignment. Doing the assignment. I'm just being a servant to do the assignment. I promise you. Amen. The promises of God are yes and amen. amen. You shall prosper. Amen. Thou shall prosper. Amen. The prosperity anointing of being fruitful and multiply is coming upon your life. And if the flood of problems that have flooded your life for these years, the Lord is going to sit on it and bring an end for every hindrance on your business because glory must come in the house. Glory must come in your life. Glory must come. Glory, glory, glory must come. God, help them to understand your word. Oh, you shall prosper. 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 Oh my goodness. You shall prosper. 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 You know why they're not getting slain? Because money will be slain in there. They'll be slain in their bank account. This is about money anointing coming to you. 
That's wonderful. Why should we forget the mother of the house? That shall prosper. I release prosperity angels around you. Jesus. Wow. People, this works. Let me tell you something. Actors come to me who are not famous. They say, man of God, I want to be famous. Pray for me. And I would quote a scripture. God said to Abraham, I'll make your name what? Great. That word, I'll make your name great. I put it, God shall make you a star. And I would release that anointing of the star. And before you know, they become number one actors. It works. God will make your names great. A good name is better than a perfumed life. So God has to make you a good name. Then people will come and do business with you. One thing, I cancel wrong business relationships. Amen. I cut off the riches. The leeches. I cut off the riches. I cut off the riches. That I, I cut off the scamming schemes of the devil. I cut it off. I cut it off. I cut it off. I cut it off. I see the angels going in like a scissors. They're cutting off those long relationships, those leeches, those vultures that have been stealing your treasures. No more with this devil. Oh, go ahead, angels, and do your work. Go ahead, angels of the Lord, and cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. I invite right relationships. Right partners in the name of Jesus. In your business the quality of relationship or partnership is the quality of the business is going to have longevity and blessings. I release angels are reorganizing and framing things. You have breakthrough favor coming upon you. Breakthrough favor. It's a different grace woman of God. Breakthrough favor. This is greater. Breakthrough favor. Breakthrough favor. Breakthrough favor. This is tangible glory. Breakthrough favor. This is tangible glory. Breakthrough favor. Breakthrough favor. This is tangible glory. Breakthrough favor. 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 Breakthrough, favor, favor, breakthrough in Jesus' name. Now you can give your best gift. Remember, you have to give the best because I don't want you to give sparely. I want you to give abundantly because you are moving out of sparely. You're moving out of the common. You are coming into another class. Did you hear what I'm saying? You're coming to another class. And the Bible says, give as you have purposed in your heart. So, purpose to give abundantly. Welcome into a new class of business where you handle millions and millions and millions, thousands. Some of you, you get confused for a week. That's okay because you have so much money. Second week, you get used with it. And then a third week, you get used. Then a month later, you get used. Said, okay, you're a money magnet. Money magnet. Money magnet. Wow. Next time, Bishop God allows me to come, it will be a all different group with a lot of class. And I will go outside and see the change of cars. I'll be watching cars. I said, wow, what has happened of these amazing things? And the blessing is not in the car. The blessing is in your life. Because car doesn't buy you, you buy a car. You are greater than a car. You are greater than a house. 
A house can buy you, but you can buy a house. Remember this. You are a ruler and a dominator of material things. You are wealth managers. Wealth managers. Wow. You are wealth builders. You shall have ideas that will bring wealth upon wealth. Inventions, ideas of businesses you never thought. But because you have thou shalt prosper anointing, it will just work and work. You have tapped into a working faith. Working faith. Woo. I receive that working faith. Working faith. Working faith. In Jesus' name. Which one? The kid? Oh, yeah. Bring all the kids here. I want to bless them. The devil tried to attack one of our kids today. With us, we shall demand the whole city to be saved for the damage he did during the day. In the name of Jesus. And I want to bless you. You've been playing for so long. Come. Come. Let me, let me release the good morning. Okay. Before that, I want all the praise team to come and run up here. Don't worry, kids. I'm coming to you. It's okay. You can stand up. Okay, second, let me bless the kids first. Okay, I want to bless you. Heavenly Father, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. They shall be great in the sight of God and in the sight of man. Thank you, Father. Greatness. Greatness. We speak protection in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak a blessing over you. 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 That's another assignment God called me in the spirit to cancel that. But please, it can't be on the air because I'm too known in that area. Otherwise, I'll be in the paper the second day. I don't want that. Yeah. I know, I don't think they had Okay. Father, I bless these children in the name of Jesus. This shall be great shall be great. <laughs>